Good rug, killing the alliance. Taking an opportunistic kill when that guy was at like 10% health. He knows how to rug. He knows what he's doing. What does this guy think he's doing? Does this guy think he's not getting killed? Okay, maybe he is not getting killed. Okay. Okay. I see you. Good stuff. Ground lock is in Night Song Woods. Where the fuck is that? That's in fucking Ashenvale. And is super irrelevant. How's he gonna help us? He can't. He cannot help us. Do you know the mechanics behind Between the Eyes? Is it ranged weapon damage? Not really. No, I don't know. Because it's like super irrelevant for PvE damage dealing, which is pretty much all I spend time figuring out. This hunter is in here apparently soloing the mobs and we've managed to get a couple of kill credits by just being like slightly nearby. Do we use crystal charges like in Wrath? I don't recall using Crystal Charge in Wrath. I recall using Crystal Yield, which is different. But I'm pretty sure that Yield does not stack with our other armor things in Season of Discovery. I think the reason it was good in Wrath is because they like changed up the armor system and that made Crystal Yield stack with stuff and then be good. And it's dead. Alright, so he's probably way ahead on quest credit here. Berserker. Yeah, he's got 15 Berserker kills. This is uh, quite a quest. 80 elite mobs required to do this quest. He's just pulling it away 
Yeah, to a safe area, then we open on it. Okay, that's good. Chain the stun, kidney shot, or er, cheap shot into kidney shot. Mobs at 40% before it even does anything. And Venom, finish it off. Easy. Now we got three people together, so our squad should be kind of pumping. Might have to aggro something left or right. What? Just kill one of them. Let's see, where's the other people? Okay. Alright, now we got a squad. We're kind of pumping. Well, where's this mob going? Hmm. Is there a rough estimate on how much 1% crit is worth in AP? I, I haven't worked on stat weights for this phase. When I compare items, I usually am just plugging them into a spreadsheet or simulator. Is this shadow caster not actually needed for our quest? What is under the hat? Uh, plenty of hair, I assure you. Uh, okay. I prom- I promise you. Plenty of hair. Literally a oversized head. So big that famous hat brand Stetson- Stetson Hats refused to make a hat large enough to fit my head. I was gonna pay them hundreds of dollars for a uh, hat that would fit me, but they literally won't make it. They told me no. Weakened Venom, only one deadly stack. That's a Shadow Caster, don't care. That's a Berserker, I do care about that. Big stun. Okay. Uh, what's your favorite dungeon ever in history? Easy question. Easy question. Blackrock Depths. There's so many different things to do in Blackrock Depths. There's so many different ways to move through the dungeon. It's non-linear, you know? Uh, you know, you get to Molten Core uh, through Blackrock Depths. That's also good. What, someone looted a vessel of tainted blood. Okay, I need some of those too. Groundlock is the only other person who has the quest. Hide Skinner, Hide Skinner, Shadow Hunter. We need Shadow Hunter. Don't need the Hide Skinners, but you know, you take what you can get. Now we're blasting. Full power, all five people are here. We just got green magic on the ground. I don't know what that does. But we're blasting. Look at that. Popping the meter. 
in a group with level, uh, all the other people are level 50. They can't even do, uh, look what they have to do to mimic a fraction of my power, okay? That's what we're looking for, a little, that's the, uh, thing. Okay, so now we know what the clickable item looks like. That's the Vessel of Tainted Blood. Oh, this was someone else's tag. Oopsies. Rolling through here, just smashing everything. Love it. Warlock tank going crazy. You like Ubers until you've run it 54 times for Shadowcraft Chest and 145 times for Fell Striker. Yep, 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 yep. End up running that one a lot of times. And it gets boring fast. <laughs> Waiting for the rend event to spawn the worst part about the rend event is like you clear all the trash waves And then it, you wait like two minutes after the last trash wave for the boss to come out And it's like it took me four seconds to heal to full and be ready for the boss And now I'm waiting for one minute 56 seconds with my thumb up my ass because this takes two minutes for some reason Inside gate tech that doesn't make Ren spawn faster. You you get like You get a little bit closer to rend when he comes out, but like Yeah, it gets you it gets you through the waves much faster, but I, it does I don't think it accelerates the spawn of uh, the wait time from the last wave to rend spawning But yeah inside the gate tech is definitely the fastest way to get through to clear the trash waves. Ooh, a wild vine. That's good. Okay, he's looting another one of those. I need to start looting those. I'm falling behind here. Well, oh, he'll loot all ten of his or whatever, and eventually I'll loot. One, uh, you know, get get to looting them. There we go. One out of ten. Lucky thing for me is the warlock is the tank. So if I wanted to right now, I could just walk over. I don't know, are there any right here? I don't actually know if there's any. You know, he's tanking stuff. I could just loot them while he's tanking. You know, if I wanted to be a sneaky rogue. Oh, shoot. What's the loot situation on this one? Is it need roll, greed roll? It's greed roll. Okay, everyone greed roll. Any lootables? Someone else can loot that and be just as disappointed as I was. Doo -doo. Doo -doo. I fell a little bit behind looting that chest. Oh, they uh, looks like they ran over an alliance. Okay, love to see it. Pride of the alliance. He's dead. He's dead. The pride of the alliance is dead. Soul eaters and blood drinkers. We need both of these mob types. Scouting the room for any uh, soul cauldrons or whatever the hell that I have to loot. Zoom this map in. What is this? Vessel. Okay, no, but it's not spawned. Alright, just mount up. Catch up with the team. They're going this way. What are we farming, boys? 
80 elite trolls to complete the quest job opening guard captain of Revan Tusk Village. Okay. And then we're gonna get... It's worth it, though, because look, we're gonna get... First of all, we're gonna get a fuckload of experience, because it's a high-level elite quest. Um, and we're just getting 270 experience per mob here. We're gonna get Rune of the Guard Captain. 20 attack power, 1% chance to hit. Big Pog. Yeah, damn right. Jealous? Al only, uh, only Horde can get this. There is no, uh, alliance equivalent on this one. No cauldrons. Dude, they're the, they're actually just like moving way faster than me because I'm looking around for these stupid cauldrons and they're already pulling the next mob. See, like there, but the warlock's probably going to get that one. It's okay, we'll get some eventually. Simon, how you doing? Couldn't be here for a while. Oh, and may I ask if you are planning on playing Cata? I'm not planning on playing Cataclysm. I think that game sucks, and why would I re-up to a game that already has a WoW token added? Gotta loot these bones. It's for one of the quests. See, this guy doesn't need Guard Captain, but I think he needs most of the quests that I needed, because I picked up all the quests, right? Because he's a Warlock. He, he doesn't need Rune of the Guard Captain, but he joined this group for Rune of the Guard Captain. So I think he's just going to lead us into all of the other quests. Which is good for me, because I would prefer... To just do all the freaking quests. Oh, he wants to loot them. Uh, share quest. All right, now where are we going? Ground lock, indoors man. Okay. Warlock is the one leading the way mostly. Where are we going? Where are we going? Oh, he's going around to get these. I see. We gotta get on top of that. We gotta... We gotta get some of those. Ooh, this guy spawned. And that guy spawned. Uh, let me talk to this guy. Kidnapped, elder, get the key, whatever. Branch guard. Alright, blade flurry time. Two mobs got blood fury up also. Big damn. Mm, these are a little bit too far. No, okay, I'm hitting I'm the blade flurry still working. I wasn't sure if they were too far apart or not. Oh, maybe they were too far apart. Uh, we shall ask, what is a WoW token? A uh, WoW token is, is essentially Blizzard will sell you gold. If you want to pay real world money for in-game gold, Blizzard will facilitate and allow that transaction. Wait, 
Okay, these mobs are level 51. They're a bit harder for us to handle. Uh, let's see. Wanted chair. Oh, shit. The Alliance Squad. <laughs> no, sir. He's in a dispersion. I don't want to do... Uh... There. Okay, he's fearing me. Double feared. I don't have any dots on me. Vanish. Step. Stun. Whoa, he healed a lot, okay. Bleed, you're not getting away. No, sir. Blinded? Uh, I need a poison cleanse. Oh, our, our druid is dead. Uh, I think we wiped him. But we ran out. We don't have any reses alive. Well on our... Oh, we got our 15 honor kills. Okay, sweet. Alright, unfortunate. going on we chilling i mean this this guy is leading the way so we he's uh if he's good to go we're good to go if he's if we chilling waiting for the guys it's gonna take him a while to get back because this we're like far away from a graveyard the alliance are gonna come back too and maybe fight us 397 experience. Give me shot. Without a healer, I definitely want to prioritize doing stuns to reduce the damage that the group takes. Shot. Mm, kidney's still on cooldown. Wait a little bit. Big stun. Fifteen elites. Oh, sh the ancient egg. Probably the warlock is on this quest, I bet. I'm not. This is for the... Egg of Hakar or something that let, lets you summon the Avatar of Hakar in Sunken Temple, I think. Is that right? Do you guys know? Ithaya the Keeper. Shackle Key. Yeah, okay.
Okay. We got one of our players alive again. Druid is back. Rogue isn't back yet. Haven't seen any of the Alliance yet. So who knows what their status is. If they're going to try to come and uh, fight us again. Perhaps. Are we having fun? We're doing the Elite Quest in Jintha Allure right now. And we got a squad. And we just wiped out an Alliance squad. Who didn't do anything to us. Other than happen to be in the same place. Okay. That's that's all they did. Did some uh, group, group PvP clash. We came out on top. Obviously. Interrupt these spells. Boss is dead. We gotta loot the shackle key here. Let's make sure we don't forget that. There we go. I think we have, uh, yeah, all the Amanzazi guards. Oh, Homunculus. It's the it's the Alliance again. Oh, I just got clipped. I was trying to run away and maybe restell. And they feared and then jumped off. Oh, I'm in a bad spot now. I just saw them go into stealth over there. Okay, Alliance are back up. We might have another clash here. Rogue on me. Nice. My group protected very well. It's good. He's in a dispersion. I don't want to spend my energy until he's out. There. Big stun. He's dead. No shot, dude. We actually got a squad. Okay. I'm pumping. I like this group. I like this group. When in a group, I always use protection. <laughs> so that's smart. You know, I mean, if my group didn't protect me there, you know, I could have died. But they, uh, they like counter stunned the rogue after the rogue opened on me, so I didn't just get instantly dropped. You know, it was good. We need. One person still needs kill credit. I think it's because that it was uh, misfortunate, the group leader. Because I don't think they started out having the quest. So they missed out on kill credit from some, from the, some of the earlier kills. kills for misfortunate I think I think the, this guy's just going to get kill credit for everyone you know I think that's his idea there's not a whole lot of communication going on in the group but 
it's mostly working out, so who cares, you know? Okay. 10,000 experience for turning that one in. That's pretty good. We're still, we're hanging out here waiting for Vile Priestess Hex to spawn. While offing just a couple more of these Amanzazi guards. Here she is. Pickpocket, obviously. Oh, resist, obviously. I am polymorphed. Gosh, I wonder if we do all the elite quests here. I wonder how high a level we're going to get. Like, we're going to get 48 easily. I wonder if by the time we're done with all these elite quests... Are we gonna hit fucking 49? Uh, Sky's the Limit says, you got a song for me, you might like, gonna send it to you via Twitch Whisper so you can listen to it off stream. Hell yeah, okay. I like me, some of my favorite music I listen to off stream because if I listen to it on stream, I'd get DMCA'd or whatever. And I couldn't upload the VOD to YouTube. I like listening to Irish folk music, one of my favorite bands, like the Irish Rovers, they don't do a lot of playing anymore, I don't think, they're, they're kind of an older band, um, there's a newer band um, called the High Kings, I like that, you know, I like that music, it's usually kind of, well, it's either super sad or pretty cheery, you know, there, there's some very sad songs, but uh, yeah, I don't know, I like the kind of story songs that those have. Uh, also like Backstreet Boys, uh, Britney Spears, and NSYNC. Because um, uh, that's the pop music that was popular when I was growing up. Wait, is there something? Oh, yep, I see, I see. I'm on the Discord. I'm banning the guy posting... Um, uh, pornography. Yep, band. There we go. Thank you, uh, Zog Zog. Letting me know. Uh, Caravan says, Thanks for making such concise video guides without filler. That's something that, it, like, really... Like, I try to make the video literally as short as possible. Like, on those, like, the epic crafting quest line. Don't make it take any more seconds than it needs to take to deliver the information you're trying to deliver. What I really hate when I click on a YouTube video, you know, it's got a title and a thumbnail. I, you know, the title and the and thumbnail gives me an expectation of what I'm going to get when I click on that video, right? And then I click on the video, and the first 45 seconds of it is, please sub to my channel, leave a like and comment down below. Here's what I'm gonna tell you today, and like teasing you with the information and not like, not just getting to the point. Like fuck, fuck. I think if you're gonna ask for like subs or likes on your videos, you should ask for subs or likes after you have provided value to the viewer, not before. That's my take. Maybe these blood vessel things still? Did the Warlock ever get the 10 that he needed? I don't know. 
Soul Bite, whatever. Looking for him, I don't see any here. Lootable. Any cauldron thingies? Nope. Maybe they're only on the lower level. We were seeing them before. Now I don't see them. Wait, wait, no, I, I, dude, there was one right there, and I, I just glanced right past it. I missed it. How do I whisper a person that hasn't wrote in chat, Boomer? <laughs> wait, here, I, here you go. Here you go. I just write in chat. I'll write in chat for you. Make it easy. I'm getting this one. 100% dude. I'm not letting the warlock get it. Wait, is the... <laughs> I'm getting it right now. <laughs> I need him too. That's my second one. Warlock has a whole bunch of them already. I'm sure he'll understand. There's a quest item, some bones we have to loot down here. Yeah, here, this bone pile. Sludge toxin interrupted. No spells for you, Jade Sludge. Big stun. Looting the quest item. There we go. Which DMF trinket is best for melee? Uh, both of them. Sandstorm and Dunes. That combination is your best trinket setup. They are both very good. If you could only pick one, I would pick Dunes. Because Dunes is not only Biss in single target, it's giga broken in AoE. It's super, it's insanely strong in AoE. You walk up that side? I don't think so. I don't think he can walk up that. I think this is a run around angle. Even after 3x nerfs, yes. That trinket is insanely good. Blade Flurry time. Corvi, hello. How's it going? Dude, this rogue's gonna this rogue's gonna blast this week, okay? Corvi, thank you for the tier one. Thank you for two months of support. I appreciate that. Holy shit. Oh, these are all tagged. We can't get them. Mm. Where are we going? Going this way? Yeah, we're going this way. This, this rogue's going to be 50, and it's going to get into this sunken temple lockout. Oh, the warlock didn't see this one. I'm getting it. Turning around. Dune and Swimstorm isn't this Dune deck the same? Oh, did I say Dune and Sand? I meant, I meant Decay and Sandstorm. Plague's deck makes Decay Trinket. Dune's deck makes Sandstorm Trinket. You want Decay Trinket and Sandstorm Trinket.
Are these gonna reset? Yeah, I think they are. What's the, what's the, what are these guys doing? I don't know. Okay, back up top. What's going on? Think we got this mob? Yeah, okay, we got this mob. Blade Flurry. This is probably an insane pre-quest stack. Like, I only completed one of these quests on my main rogue. Like, think about all these elite quests you could do, and you could just turn them all in at um, uh, Revan Tusk Village. If you're thinking about Phase 4 pre-quest stack, these are some premium options. Any of the cauldrons in here for me to loot? Mm, doesn't look like it. Okay. Would undead be better just for PvP? Well, undead is better when you're fighting against priests or warlocks. And orc is better when you're fighting against other rogues, paladins, or warriors. Uh, cause you know, undead gives you, you know, fear immunity and, uh, orc gives you stun resistance. So it just depends if your enemy is going to try to stun you or if they're going to try to fear you. You can loot the, yeah, the, one of the quests is for a cauldron. here. Anything? Nope. Nothing. Hide Skinner? No, we don't need those. We don't need any of this mob type either. Blood Drinker. Let's check the mob types that we need. We still need, still need a lot of soul eaters. Pretty far behind. I'm just vanishing mounting. Damn, Hunter is bailing. But, like, respect, because he finished his quest, so. What do you want? Shadow Hunter. Also need Shadow Hunters. Good. These are two mob types we need. Love to see it. We got a lot of mobs at once. Look at this. I only have a 1.7 speed off and his focus attacks better than combat potency. I don't know. That depends on much more than just your offhand speed. But I could tell you 1.7 is not generally going to be a good choice for a combat potency build. Um, you're really looking for a 1.3 or 1.4. But whether that works out to be better or worse than running focus attacks, I can't tell you. 
We do on the Discord have links to spreadsheet and simulator tools that you can plug in your gear options and then like fiddle with the runes and whatever. Um, and uh, you know, it'll give you a DPS estimate so you can see for your unique situation. Cauldron, Vessel of Tainted Blood. It's not actually called a cauldron. Soul Eater, let's see, Blood Fury, Blade Flurry, Slice. Do some DPS on these guys. It's a damn shame. There's so many blood drinker mobs, and we we killed all the blood drinker mobs we need to kill already. But they're just in the way of the other mobs we need. So we end up killing way more than 80 mobs for this quest. Oh, they're leaving? If they're leaving, I'm looting this before they leave. Five out of ten on that. Okay. Any lootables over there? I don't see any. Soul Eater. Get him dead. Twelve out of twenty. This is, a uh, so these, these are some obnoxious quests. Uh, Sky's Limit says, gotta leave, have a great night, slash evening, slash morning, or whatever, be positive, and Simon and I show, stay hydrated. Well, thank you for, uh, being in the stream. I, I hope you enjoyed it. Hope everyone's enjoying the stream. You know, we kind of just chilling today, doing a bunch of quests. We, we did a Nomergon, too. That was, that was, like, the most eventful thing that happened. Actually, I would say... The PvP clash with the Alliance group in the cave up here. That was maybe a little bit more exciting than um, Nomergon. It's pretty easy to beat the excitement of Nomergon, admittedly. You know? <laughs> Nomergon's old news. If the mount dropped in Nomergon, that would have been hype. Alright, where's the cauldrons in this area? Where are we looting cauldrons from? Anywhere? They're leaving, it looks like. And I don't see any cauldrons. Okay. Wait, there's one up there. Hmm. Zazi guards. These are also ones, uh, we have killed these, enough of these already. There's really, when I did this quest the first time on my main, it, it was the same situation of, like, we, we killed everything and it's like, Soul Eater was the last mob type we needed. There are so far, there's so many fewer Soul Eater spawns than the other mob types. It's kind of annoying. How many hats does Simon own? Uh, like 15 to 18 ish. Alliance squad, are we all together? Can we fight them if they uh if they want to? Yeah, we're together. We got all four of us here. Dwarf priest Broheim, level 49. Very fired. Oh, that's Budheim the warrior. Not anymore. That's an honorable kill. That's what that is. Gotta get those honor points, man. Gotta get rank 5 so we can get the better trinket. 
Warrior, wrong place, wrong time. The squad was coming through, okay? Didn't stand a chance. Still in combat, because I did PvP combat. So it took time to drop. Oh, hell yeah. Two vials in here? What is, wait, what's this guy doing? Did he just res there or something? Okay. Oh, I think that eyeball thing is a priest quest. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, what's going on? Where are they going? Downstairs. Need to find more soul eaters. Shadow hunters, perhaps, I think we're low on also. File branch, blood drinker, blood drinker. One soul eater. Bingo. And a cauldron. We're at 7 out of 10 on that. Alright, let me grab this cauldron. And then we'll shadow step back. Boom. Calculated. Big stun. Weekly lockouts feel so good. Yeah, but it's harder for me to farm content. You understand, Captain Stabs? Like, it was great. I could... I had more Nomergon and more BFD raid VODs to upload than there were days in the week. So it was super easy to just be like, I could I could then select for the best of the VODs instead of just uploading every one, you know? All right, where's he trying to go? Oh, shit, I'm gonna get this cauldron. This is, I need one more Uno Mas after this. Right, he's jumping down. Okay. I like it. Hide Skinner, Shadow Hunter. We need those. And there's more cauldrons. There's a bunch more cauldrons down here, I think. Okay. They're not called cauldrons. They're called vessels. So maybe that's confusing to my group when I say I'm done on cauldrons. But hopefully they know what I mean. All right, let's check our other quest proge progress. We need... Soul Eater, five Berserker, three Shadow Hunter. Dintholor wants you to return to Primal Torn Tusk. Ah, uh, okay, that's fine. Dark Vessels completed, Separation Anxiety completed. Vile Branch Hooligans stole the guy's tools. We got that. Hunt the Savages. Owl Beast. Okay, don't need to do that. Job opening. Vile Priestess. Yeah, okay, it's pretty much... It's just the mob kills now, because I got the, the... The vessels completed. Yeah, Captain says we gotta get more characters. Uh, so that's what we're working on. And I'm, I've actually had a pretty fun time. With this being 75%, I feel like I'm making progress at a pretty reasonable pace. You know? Slink Nows, hello, what's up? It's actually you. What, what? Who, yes. I, this is my job. I play WoW all day. <laughs> it's my job. 
I'm Miss Fortune. Oh, hell yeah, dude. You're the rogue that invited us to the group, formed up the group for us. This group has been a blast, by the way. It's been great. Let's see, misfortunate. We got to get more raid viable characters so we can do. I mean, probably we want like five raid viable characters so we can do a sunken temple every stream. That might be a bit much. Maybe it's a bit much. Maybe it's not, but like, shit. We're working on number two. <laughs> Not exactly. We haven't exactly been moving fast with, um, you know, leveling up multiple characters and getting them all, like, raid geared and stuff, you know? Haven't exactly been going quickly through that process. I'm oh, still in combat. What are we in combat with? Shadow Hunter. Okie dokie. Got 18. That's 19. Everyone in the group has the same progress on the quest now, I think. He's going for a cauldron. Blood drinker. Soul eater. Let's go. Kick the soul bite. I don't know what soul bite does. I do not. All I know is that I can interrupt it, so I will. That's pretty much the story. Yeah, we're gonna have to do some sick blood moons on this character too to get that Gurubashi backstabber. Mm. Hopefully price of, uh, price of uh, Librum enchants goes down. Because uh, I'm probably not going to pay multiple hundreds of gold for a, a Librum. Uh, on the alt, you know. <laughs> but the main's got almost everything, you know. The main, the main gets the, the premium treatment when it comes to uh, spending on the, the pricey stuff. What is this song? Mm, Xenoblade Chronicles 3 Music Mix. Which is... A very long track of mu- There's a lot of music in here. Shadow Hunter. This is the last Shadow Hunter we need. Okay. We're wrapping it up here. Uh, Shadow Hunter, and I think we didn't need just one more Soul Eater after this to then be totally donezo. Looting this. What is this? Berserker and Soul. Oh, this is the last Soul Eater. Last for everyone in the group. Yeah, hell yeah, dude. Skinner, what are we doing? Are we fighting these? We're dismounting, fighting them? I guess we're fighting them. That's yeah, a big blade flurry DPS there. A big, large sized blade flurry DPS. Tank, tank <laughs> jumps. Vanish, I'm jumping. Berserker. Okay, here's a Berserker. 
What's the Berserker progress? I think I'm a little bit ahead on other people. Yeah, okay. The the Warlock and the Druid need a bunch of Berserkers. So yeah, we, they, they've been they've been absolute Gs. So yeah, absolutely. We're going to stay past, past when I'm done. Not bailing out early. Ethical questing. <laughs> Indeed. Oh, I just got shrinked. Strength and stamina. Eh, okay, it's not great, but 14 isn't that much. You know. Okay, we're no longer shrinked. This guy wants to fight. Well, that was a mistake on his part. That's a bad decision. Bad decision. I wonder if he accidentally Shadow Word pained me. I know they've got like a, a rune that makes Shadow Word pain apply to multiple targets. I wonder if it was an unintentional Shadow Word pain on me. <laughs> and then we just turned around and it just put put him down. Where does he want to go? I don't care. Look, he's got the mark. He's the leader. A priest homunculus just killed me, says Upgrade. And there's nothing the priest could do? <laughs> Yikes. Shadowcaster, Shadowcaster, no Berserker there. Where are we going? We jumping? There's zero Berserkers alive? All the groups are just farming Berserker. That Witch Doctor. Well, something's got to respawn eventually. Like this guy. Oh, here's one. Oh, that priest is alive again. Not for long, probably. Target not in line of sight. Well. Come on. Where are you? I mean, I can see. I just can't get to them. I'm feared. <laughs> Struggling here to overcome these very difficult terrain obstacles. Okay, we did it. Uh, Bungled says, I was doing a rune quest in Fairless on the Hunter. It involves feeding a baby gorilla and they follow you. They will attack any enemies, including the opposing faction. <laughs> and they will not stop. That is... Unfortunate. I think I just, like, face aggro this thing, carelessly walking by it. Yeah. 
Yeah, there's like actually zero Berserker spawn. These are super heavily farmed up, I guess. Headhunter, Headhunter, Witch Doctor. No, oh, that's slimes. Witch Doctor. Yeah, I think... Headhunter, Witch Doctor, yeah, I think they are not on that level. Oh, he's gonna get that one first. Wait, he's not going for it. Okay, well, we can go for it then. Boom. Come here, mob. Two of them down. They're at 15, so we need five more. And then everyone will be done, and we'll all be happy. And live happily ever after. In Jintha Alor, after committing genocide on the current residents and taking it over. That's just MMORPG games for you, you know? That's just how they work. Genocide's just a normal part of the game. And if you can't uh, accept that, maybe you shouldn't play this game. Ugh, parry to the kidney shot. I did it from the front. That was uh, not the way rogues do it. Tree limb. Boiled. Two more. This is number 19. One more after this one. There it is. This is the last one. Go equip our trinket. Get the trinket, equip the trinket. That's the plan right now. Screw all these other quests. Not a priority. Where's this? Oh, this rug? Thinks they're gonna do shit? Maybe they're... Maybe they are. Oh, did I... I think I misclicked the distract. Didn't get the distract on them. Hmm. Yeah, I think I think the rogue is gonna get away. Yeah, he peaced out. <laughs> Most excellent. Thanks for the group. Alright, do we have any other quests? Let's see. We were part of the way on the silver, the, the stealth dudes. 
I think we just bounce out. Okay, but it's, if it's right in front of us, we're definitely going to kill it. Oh, and there's another one. Evasion, glove activation, slice and dice. Gonna hit 48 off of uh, these quest turn-ins for sure. And we'll probably come back and do like all the non-elite quests at some point. Just not right now. All right, we're going to jump off the cliff here. Where's my slow fall? Slag trees, lost tools. There we go. <laughs> Wait, so he got, he's got slow fall also. Nice, nice. He's got it from Noggin Fogger. I've got it from uh, Build a Festive Mug. Okay. Smith. Okay. 7,000 experience for that. How about over here? Separation anxiety, skull and bones. Uh, okay, uh, what do we get? Healing, uh, this one vendors for more, okay. Boom, level up. Okay. And where do we turn in this last one? Probably right over here. Nope. Uh, no, up above. Okay. Mm-hmm. Return to primal... Uh, five agility, four stamina, or flask of forest mojo. This one vendors for more. Easy choice. Dark vessels. Okay, no choice choices there. Vile priestess, hex, and her minions. Uh, this necklace is pretty good. It's not as good as the peace officer's torque, but I might actually use that. It's a little more stamina and it's got agility, which means it's got more dodge. So maybe if I'm in a tanking situation, I might choose to use that instead. I'll throw it in the bank. And this is the real prize. This is the one we were really after. Rune of the Guard Captain. Boom. Let's go. See if I'll, I can go bush mode now. We got the, we picked up this trinket when we were in Orgrimmar. I haven't used it yet. I don't want to go bush mode. Go to the vendor, see if we can sell some stuff. Blacksmithing supplies? Yeah, you can okay, talk to you. Let's see. Vendor. Vendor, vendor. Wolf meat. Longbow. Claymore, wolf meat, vendor, vendor, get rid of it. We don't need all this crap. Okay, it's time to go bush mode. Boom. <laughs> My, I like the character panel changes too. I can jump as a bush. <laughs> Alright, that's brilliant. Can I RP walk? I can go even slower as a bush. Just a totally normal bush. <laughs> Alright, that's fun. 